this video, we're going to show you how to leverage Zoom to actually do your meeting and be able to live stream to Facebook. Now, if you've upgraded to the pro plan, which is about $15 a month, then you'll have access to these features, yet it's not turned on by default. So I came to my Zoom account under settings, and if you scroll down pretty much almost towards the bottom, you're going to find an option that will talk about actually sharing live streams. Here we go. Allow live streaming. This by default is turned off. So you're going to want to turn it on and then you can have it go to Facebook. If you use Workplace, you can have it go there for Facebook. YouTube, custom live streaming. I just have it on Facebook. That way I can have a Zoom meeting where people come and I can actually live stream to a private page, an office page, a business page, anywhere that I want. This would be great for open houses if you want to schedule a few people to be in the home and you want to Facebook Live it at the same time. The power of Facebook Live is the fact that it can live on beyond you and you can get more people in without major registration. So this is another option as well. Here's the setting. Let me show you how this actually works in the Facebook world. So I'm going to click to Zoom. We're going to start a meeting with video. So give me a second here. Start a meeting with video and here I am. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a virtual background. So if you haven't done the virtual backgrounds, there's a lot of great options here. I'm going to choose this one, my onward. Okay, so here we are and we're going to remove that lighting from my face. Okay, so I've got my Zoom going. Now, there are some options here. Now, if you've enabled this option inside of the live streaming option, then you're going to get three dots under more. This is where you can go live on Facebook. So I'm going to go live on Facebook. This is going to open up Facebook. So if you're not logged in, you'll need to log in first. I'm going to choose where I want to share this. Now I can share it on my timeline, share it in a group, share it in an event, share it on a page that I manage. So I will do this as an example to my J. Cermak Trainer Extraordinaire business page. I'm going to click Next. This is now preparing. So I find this whole process takes about maybe 30 seconds. So if you're going to do this for an actual class, an open house or training, make sure you do it like two to three minutes before you actually want that to start. So now it's got some options here. You would give it a title. So I might just say this is a Zoom live stream test. Give it a title for your broadcast. This helps. So I might just say test Zoom live stream. You can give it more text if you want. You could share it on groups if you have this information. So this is a way to share to multiple groups. So I guess I could do it if I type in a group name. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I haven't played with that yet. We'll go into more detail of that later. So I'm going to say go live. This might take a few moments to go live here. So it's setting up your meeting. Now what I have found is the previous few minutes actually do show up. So make sure you're being professional, you're dressed good, your background looks great before you go live because once you go live, it starts right away. So here we are. We are live now. There it is. Jay Starmack Trainer Extraordinaire is live now. This is a Zoom live stream test so someone can get here. Now, something that you could do with your friends, family, staff, or if you're with a market center, you can actually even do what we call a watch party. This is a great way to get people to watch it and encourage others from your page to get out there. So just as an idea, then when you're done, you actually go back to Zoom. You don't have to keep Facebook open, by the way. I'm going to close out of it. I'm going to come back to my Zoom window. Here it is. And when you're done, you can either click here to just stop the live stream and keep your meeting going. Or you can end the meeting for all and it will end it for everybody. Now everyone asks me what's these options. Leave the meeting means the meeting will still go on. So if you're the host and you leave, then someone else will become the host and they can keep going. Or if you end the meeting for all, it ends it for everybody. So I'm going to say end meeting for all. That's done. The live stream still lives on, by the way. So on Facebook, it'll still be there. So if I go to Facebook right now, and I come to my trainer page here. You're going to see that the live stream recording is there. It saved it in Facebook Live world. And I can come back and watch the content and it lives on beyond me. It also saved it in my Zoom, which is great. So this is just another example of a power of Zoom and how you can leverage it in your business, in your meetings, working with clients. There's so many great options here. And this is a powerful one just to allow live streaming to meetings. You do need the 
Pro version of Zoom for this to work. So make sure you sign up for that today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KDB Connect and YouTube today.